Well, as you might imagine, the most complicated area in the elements area is to do with the actual elements themselves, the indentation, the listing, and so forth. So again, let's go into the elements over here. And uh, if you click on this, uh, you can see what we're doing here. Uh, we have all the different uh, uh, elements listed here that match up with the original Excel sheet. And the idea, of course, is you touch any one of these, the editing will come up. So here we can actually, uh, we touched on one of the activities that we walked to storage. We can add a new one. We can delete it. We can edit it. We can move the element. Uh, we can move the element up. We can move the element down. And most of these are, are fairly self-explanatory. So if you wanted to edit, for instance, it's going to bring up the word. And of course, you just edit it as you wish. If you want to add something here, you touch on it again. We're going to add one. And let's just go see if we can say count. So we're going to put a word in here. So we'll say uh, C-O-U-N-T. Right, so we're going to count it. Click on that, and it puts it in there. It always puts it above the one that you've selected here. So you can see it's just inserted it right in here. So if we want to go back to the count and we want to remove it, we can delete it. Go right here and take it back out again. Okay, so most of the editing is fairly easy. Uh, however, some of the movement is kind of interesting. Because uh, if I say I want to move the element down, I touch it, it will move that element down. And it says, select the position for walk to storage. So now we can pick out where we want to put it. So we could actually put it all the way down here, right at the delay area. And you'll see that the walk to storage is now down here. And uh, right there, walk to storage, you can see it, sorry. You can see it right there in the walk to storage down here. It's moved all the way down. So you can actually click on it. And you can see, move the element up. And it'll ask you, where do you want to put it? So I'll put it uh, get get part, which is actually putting it back essentially where it came from, right? So it's very easy to move the items around and move them uh, uh, up and down and so forth. So it's kind of nice that you can actually add and edit elements as you go through in the middle of a study here. Again, don't forget when you finish, use the back up here. Do not use the back on the device and that'll take you back to the data collection area.